The Omaha Police Department says it has not conducted surveillance on individuals, refuting claims made today by the American Civil Liberties Union. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. The ACLU is distributing police emails obtained through public records requests. In a letter to Police Chief Todd Schmatter, the ACLU asks what policy covers police corresponding about monitoring lawful activities of advocates. Well, Omaha City Attorney says police did not target anyone for their beliefs. Matt Cousy says observing and sharing public social media posts was meant to preserve the peace and ensure safety. And KTV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe is live with tonight's big story. Waverly. Well, Rob and Julie, OPD declined um, invitations for an interview, but said in a statement that the department um, in the, the information that was in those emails was public information such as Facebook posts. And the department's goal is to make sure that any large gathering is safe, though the people that were named in those emails question the motives of officers. In like over a dozen community like organizer Jakeen Fox letter. calls it a wild she goose chase. This really demonstrates that this isn't about justice for the police. This is about power. He's just one of the community activists referenced in Omaha police emails obtained through a records request by the ACLU of Nebraska. The emails released by the group Thursday show exchanges between several OPD officers talking about events, rallies and protests that were put on during the summer of 2020. People who attended a legal clinic, uh, a birthday party, uh, various people who had peacefully used their voices to call for racial justice had been the target of surveillance. And Legal director Adam Sippel describes it as surveillance, but Omaha police say that's not what was happening, that all of the information discussed among officers was, quote, open source intelligence found on social media, and that the information was used to learn where the event was going to be so it could be staffed to maintain public safety. Still, that's not how those in the email see it. Every step of the way, I've been sort of playing it by the books uh, and being and going by the rule and, you know, going out of my way to do it the right way and to peacefully engage in the political process. And this is still how the police are treating me. Organizer Mark Vondrasek planned a small event at OPD headquarters last summer using chalk to write political messages on sidewalks, an incident discussed in the emails. Members of the department were spending time engaging with city attorneys asking if there's something they could arrest those people for. Still, the city says no one was targeted because of their beliefs and the public social media posts were viewed to preserve the peace and that by definition, police were not surveilling anyone saying, quote, phones were not wiretapped, residences were not monitored and people were not followed. We see uh, using intimidation tactics, using fear and violence to propel their message and to quell um, uh, uh, calls for activism. Well, Senator Terrell McKinney was also named in those emails. He says that the actions prove the need for police oversight and accountability. Reporting live, Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7. All right, thanks, Waverly. Again, police and representatives from the city today declined requests for on-camera interviews. In his statement, City Attorney Matt Cousy noted that some groups chose not to give police any advance notice of planned events. And by learning about them, Omaha police are better prepared to service all citizens. OPD says it supports First Amendment and social justice concerns and wants to facilitate a peaceful event and expression of thoughts for all involved.